Continuing in Article 210, Branch Circuits, let's talk about 210.11, Required Branch Circuits. I really like what they did here. Uh, the requirements for dwelling unit garage circuits were reduced. Uh, this is a tough section because we're, we're just, we're trying to figure out how to deal with garages. Um, you know, when you think back about it, you know, garages in a dwelling unit, you go back to the 50s or something, like when my grandparents uh, had a house back in the 50s. Uh, they had a little single car garage, and I, I think it had a light, and it might have had a receptacle. It, it might not even have had one, right? Um, but it certainly didn't even have a garage door opener because those weren't invented yet, right? And then you fast forward 20 years to the 70s and, and really more like in the 80s and 90s when people started putting garage door openers in their garages. We started using more electricity. We have convenience receptacles, then we have the garage door opener. And we start making these garages bigger, right? Two car, three car garages, and you know, and you get into mansions, obviously, but that's not what we're talking about. So, how should we circuit the garage? You've got the garage door openers, you've got the convenience receptacles, and now you fast forward to the 2023 code. Um, a lot of people have electric vehicles that they're going to want to plug into maybe a 20 amp convenience receptacle for a slow charge. Now we're not saying that you have to install an electric vehicle supply equipment outlet. We are not saying that. Uh, but a lot of people are going to plug their car in. Right? You got an outlet, you're going to plug it in. A lot of people's garages have evolved into not the place where you park your car, but the place where you park your tools. <laughs> like I, I can't park my truck in my garage because it's full of tools, right? My my, my garage is a woodworking shop. So you got woodworking shops, you have, um, you have recreational rooms. Uh, my neighbors down the street, once in a while, I'll go over to there to, to party over at their garage. And they got a pool table and dartboard and wet bar and everything else. I've got another guy that I teach for. He's got a full-blown kitchen in his garage. So how do you circuit for the garage? And how should you circuit for the garage? Yeah, it's, it's not as simple, right? Everybody's bedroom is a bedroom, and it's pretty much the same. You know, laundry room, you got a laundry room. Garage is kind of a, a moving target. So... Here's what it says in the 2023. At least one 120 volt 20 amp branch circuit must supply the receptacle outlets that are including those required by 210.52 G1 in attached garages or detached garages that have electricity. Other loads are not allowed on that circuit. All right, so the convenience receptacles, the ones that are supplied by, or I'm sorry, the ones that are required by 210.52 G. Those have to be on a 20 amp branch circuit that serves the garage. Now, it says including those. Before, it just said limited to those. So in the 2020 code, you had to have a circuit that picked up the convenience receptacle required by G and nothing else. You could not put the opener on the convenience receptacle circuit, which personally, I think is stupid. I, in my opinion, you should be able to put the convenience receptacles on with the garage door opener, and now you can. So I'm really happy to see that. They also made, and, and by the way, you can have as many receptacles in there on the 20 amp garage circuit as you'd like. But other loads are not allowed on it. Other loads would include the lights. So the garage door lights, not allowed on the garage receptacle circuit, which I also think is kind of dumb because, look, man, we're using LEDs. Give me a break. It's not 1950. We're not using 100-watt lamps out there or, you know, PAR 75s or whatever. We're using LEDs. So we probably ought to allow the lights in the garage to be on the same circuit, but, you know, that, that's maybe for 2026. Garage receptacles, open a receptacle, put it on a 20-amp circuit, fine. They even made a clarification here, which is great, that says additional... 15 amp or greater branch circuits can also supply receptacles that are not required by G. Okay, so the receptacles required by 210.52G are the convenience receptacles, right? Not one, not less than one per car space. Put those on a 20 amp branch circuit. Put the rest of the receptacles in the garage on a 15 amp circuit. And put the opener on a 15 amp circuit and put the lights on a 15 amp circuit. That would be totally fine, all right? So you can have one 20 amp circuit that serves as many receptacles in there as you want. But you have to have a 20 amp circuit that picks up at least the two convenience receptacles. And if you wanted to bring in another 15 amp circuit to pick up the rest of the garage, including receptacles, that's fine too. There's an exception here that was actually decreased, which is good. The garage receptacle circuit can also serve outdoor receptacle outlets. Now, it used to say outdoor uh, receptacle outlets that are readily accessible. 
okay so as I walk out of my garage here and through this personnel door by my right knee is probably going to be an outdoor receptacle that receptacle can be on the garage circuit cool if I were to look up and look into the soffit around the house maybe I've got some receptacles up there for holiday lighting those two could be on the garage circuit if I wanted it to be so we're allowing any outdoor receptacle to be on the garage circuit the other thing we're doing is we're acknowledging single car garages do whatever you want run a 20 amp circuit out there and pick up everything in the garage it's fine because how much stuff can really be there right so here we've got a single car garage and it's got an opener it's got a convenience receptacle it's got some lights maybe some other convenience receptacles put it all on one circuit perfectly fine not a problem so great job on code making panel 2 I, I think we needed these changed, and I, I think we got what we needed I'd still like to see the lights on the circuit but we're, we're a lot better in this version than we have been ever since about 2014